Hey guys, this is V2 Thomas Clarate, and welcome to part four of Braid. <coughs> Sorry, I just got a bit of a cough today. <coughs> today we will be doing Rob 5 Time and Decision. <coughs> Sorry. She never understood the impulses that drove him, never quite felt the intensity that over time chiselled lines into his face. She was never quite close enough to him, but he held her as though she were, whispered into her ear words that only a soulmate should receive. Over the remnants of dinner, they both knew the time had come. He would have said, I have to go find the princess, but he didn't need to. Giving a final kiss, hoisting a travel bag to his shoulder, he walked out the door. Through all the nights that followed, she still loved him as though he had stayed, to comfort her and protect her. Princess be damned. Okay, so this is another pit, but this time, if I jump over there and rewind, you'll see a shadow version of me too, which allows me to just let the shadow drop down and get the piece. <clears throat> So this one's called So Distant, and what you have to do here is stand here, wait a few seconds, pull the lever, rewind time, and the shadow will pull the lever. Okay. And this one, jump on the Goomba, pull the lever, then you want to wait for the Goomba to get to the other side before you grab the... And this one is kind of confusing. So what you have to do is grab this key, then you want to make it so that that bunny... Oh, sorry. I was trying to do a little trick there. So you want to make it so... So you want to jump here... Stand on the edge of that platform so that Tim jumps far enough to get the key to you. Then, like I was saying before, you have to lure this bunny here and then have your shadow lure it away from you so you can easily sneak up, get the piece, and then rewind back. Crossing the gap. This is one of the maps on speedrun mode. And one of my favourite courses in the entire game. What you have to do is you have to pull this lever, jump on the Goomba, then rewind back to when you pull the lever, or lever, depending on how you want to pronounce it, then you jump on that Goomba and you're through. Didn't mean to do that. Just kill this Goomba. And then it should create a shadow bridge. <clears throat> allowing you to jump on the Goomba, climb up the ladder, and get the piece. Now it is possible to get the um piece without the Goomba, but it requires very, very specific timing. So, and the next one, you want to make the Goomba drop down there, then go down here, and use your death to make the Goomba bounce up. And then just jump on the Goomba after it's bounced off of you and you've got the piece. And this one, this can be a bit of a pain. What you have to do here, oh, whoops, is grab the key that this Goomba is holding. And this is where we learn that shadow keys open shadow doors. So jump towards the door, because there's like a conservation of momentum. 
which are acts like you completed the jump, allowing you to jump on top of the door before Shadow Team unlocks it. Oh, whoops. Then you just run here, drop down, and grab a piece. Simple as that. Whoops. And then you have to just do that, run there, point up, then pull this lever quickly, and it should secure enough time for Shadow Tim to pull the lever on the bridge. And here is the second boss in the game. Unlike the first boss, there's no key. So this guy's purple, so you have to hit him with um, three shadow chandeliers and two regular, run, regular ones. And if you press shift just before the chandelier hits the monster, it will um, count as a third hit. I'll show you. See? And then you can j and then I just have to hit him one more time. Hopefully I don't die. Boom! Now this one actually has a puzzle. You have to go up here, unlock this door, and pull the switch. And then you have to hurry all the way to the right side of the course because the switch raises that bar allowing you to grab the piece. Now this one I'll show what happens if done incorrectly first. If done incorrectly you won't be able to open either door. So here's how you're supposed to do it. You're meant to grab the key then jump towards the door like you did earlier. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. And then use the key to unlock the second door. And you've got your piece. And once we get to the castle, the Yoshi says... Hi, um, I'm lost. How are you? So, here we are at another puzzle. So, we join these together to create a scene that looks like an airport. But it might not... I think it's an airport. It likely is, though, due to the fact that there's a plane in one of the pieces. You get a picture of a depressed Tim drinking on the seats. And you can actually see another Tim here behind him. And on the right you can see a woman who I would guess is the princess, but I'm not sure. But anyway, that just about wraps it up for World 5. I'll see you next time where we'll do World 6. Bye!